Hi, my name is Ms. Teresa. I'm with the Box Springs Library, and it is graduation season. So for this Make It Monday, we're going to be making these graduation tassels. If you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so let's go over what you're going to need. You're going to need um, either some embroidery thread. I have different colors here, or you can use some regular thread. Um, this will get you quite a bit. And these embroidery threads, they consist of 8.7 yards. So that lets you know roughly about how much you're going to need of each of these, okay? You're going to need some jump rings. Uh, there's different sizes, and you're gonna need a pair of scissors. That's all you're going to need to make these tassels, okay? So let's move some stuff out of the way. Our local high school has their colors are um, burnt orange and white so that's what I'm gonna he have here I also have a black and white just to show you the contrast um, of it okay so I'm gonna start with the black and white first depends on how long you want it I'm found it's easier just to um, fold these in half and then make your tassel that way um, I've seen that they've cut one in and had them longer it's up to you how long you want your tassel, okay? And whenever you're doing this, if you're just gonna fold it in half, which is what I'm going to use, um, because I don't want it too long, it is a key ring, it needs to fit in your hand. Me personally, I would think I wouldn't want it too long, so I'm just gonna fold mine in half. So whenever you do, you're gonna cut the ends, so that way it can uh, be a tassel and flow back and forth, okay? So, the first thing we do before we cut them is we get our jump ring and we just slide it through the jump ring. That way you kind of know where the middle is and you're not going to mess it up. Also, if you're putting this through the jump ring, if it's just going to go straight on the jump ring and you're not doing anything to um, connect it to the keys, this is going to straight, go straight into the key. Make sure your opening for your jump ring is at the top. Um, because if it's underneath here you're not going to be able to find it. If you were to put a smaller jump ring onto a larger jump ring you don't really have to worry about it. Um, you could even make sure that opening's underneath so then it's never exposed and you would put your other jump ring on. Okay? So we're going to take a piece of this string that I have it here and there's no measurement for it, it's just about arm length. And you're going to start it at the top where a tassel would be. And you could actually, if you want, you could intermingle these um, like a graduation tassel, but it's up to you. And whenever we, whenever we bend it and fluff it, it's gonna intermingle as well, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. We'll show that more on the orange one. So, we're gonna, same steps apply. We're not changing anything. I'm just gonna show you two different versions. So we're gonna take that string, like I said, and we're just gonna wrap it around as tight as you can get it, as you want it, like your graduation tassel. you start at the beginning. There it is. And we're going to take these and you're just going to tie them to some knots. If I can get my fingers to work. There we go. And tie it as tight as you can get it. And I would put more than just the two. I would put several ties in here, several knots, just to ensure you have a good grip and a good closure on it. All right. And then 
you don't have to worry about it cutting off because it has um, the tassels there anyway. So like I was saying, you're gonna cut these bottom tassels in half. And just slide it through the loops. And give it a good cut. And this is super easy. You can customize it to the colors that your senior is graduating from. You can customize it to the colors that your senior may be going to. Um, it is your option, however you like it, but it is so simple. And if you're having the little one graduate from elementary or middle school and they don't receive a tassel, you can make a tassel for them as a keepsake. So just make sure all your loops are cut. If you want it even, make it nice and even. Just straighten them all out. And then at the end, just give it a little haircut. And there's the black and white one. So this one is the one that has them all mixed together. Just give it a little fluff, a little shake. that one so that would kind of look like if it was actually hanging from their graduation cap because um, most of them are mixed colors they're not one solid color let's move this out of the way and I'm going to show you this one okay for this one that we're going to do we're going to use the two jump rings okay and this one whoops we're actually going to take the string from here and like I said, you're going to take about an arm's length. So, which is usually about three folds. Yeah. And we're going to cut it there. Okay, and we're going to put that to the side. Now this one, I don't want the colors mixed. I want them side by side to give it a little different layer to it. Same thing, you're gonna slide it through that jump ring, okay? And since this is two jump rings, I'm actually gonna hide my opening. See my opening's right there, where you would put the keys. I'm gonna hide my opening inside here, okay? And again, I'm not mixing my colors. My colors are gonna be side by side. And I'm taking my string and then, oops, we're going to hold it off to the side and we're just going to squeeze and wrap all at the same time. So we get to a good length that's able to tie it, okay? And then we just tie some knots. And because where I stopped on this one, this one um, is in. This orange is moving on me. And see, I want to keep them separate, so I'm going to move that orange. It's walked over this way. I'm just going to give it a little tug and move it back to its side. And because I used the white, I want to keep them very pristine and the two sides divided. Where I stopped at on here, I'm going to have to cut the extra off because I did not want the string to hang down because it was white string and I didn't want it to be in my orange area. I also forgot to mention, once you've tied this, if you have a little piece of super glue or craft glue, put that on your tie. That way it keeps it from unraveling. 
um, because if you don't, they're just tied and string does come untied. Uh, many children have fallen off of shoelaces that have come untied. So put a little piece of glue, um, super glue, hot glue, um, any kind of tacky, uh, crafty glue like E6000, anything like that that's going to hold that and you don't have to worry about that tie coming undone, okay? And I forgot to mention that on this one, but we do want to make sure that you do do the glue. Okay, so once you have it all tied off, now you're going to cut the bottom and you're just going to slide your scissors through the loops and give them each a cut so that way it will tassel out. And this embroidery thread is very cheap. You can get it at um, any craft store. You can get it at Walmart. It's like 50 cents a bundle. So it's super cheap. And you can make as many of these as you want. That's what I was saying. You could customize this. So you could do, on one half you could do, instead of the just the solid orange, you could do orange and white. Let's say that was their, um, colors from high school and the colors that they're going into for college would be blue and white. You could do that here and you can customize it to whatever style you want. Alright, so once we have all the loops cut, if you want to give it a little trim, kind of get everything even. There you go. And like I said, we're putting this one onto this bigger jump. So we take this and just hook it through here, just like any jump ring. That way you don't have to worry about that. And then that's their key ring. So I hope you had fun making your graduation tassel key rings. Um, customize them to whatever colors that fits your graduate and um, make sure you post them and let me see how they went. Music